I'm just at the mall right now in this little like area where I'm just trying to find someplace a little bit quiet to vlog. But anyways, I'm here just to pick up a prescription at Superstore and I had to wait 45 minutes for it. So I'm just kind of dinking around. And I went to EB Games because I know they have the shiny Gengar event, but I didn't realize it was an event where they give you a code and there's only a limited number of them. I thought it was just like their normal wireless giveaways where you just stand outside EB Games and like, you can get your download for the event in Pokemon. I didn't realize it was a code, otherwise I probably would have gone in a lot sooner. But they've been out of the codes for a while now. And then they told me to try this other EB Games because they claimed that they still had codes last time I talked to them. But I phoned there and they said they've been out of the codes for a long time. So no shiny Gengar, but I did pre-order Omega Ruby, so that's exciting. But they did give me a code for Diancie, which kind of isn't as good because I probably would never use Diancie, but it's... It's still good. I can use that code as of the 27th or something, so I'm still glad I got it, but it's just, um, you know, Gengar's a Pokemon I would probably put in my party, but Diancie, I don't think so. So, a bit sad, but at the same time, I'm like, whatever. I usually don't even use event Pokemon. I get them, and then I don't use them, so it's kind of like a waste anyways. So, yeah, I'm just going to dink around the mall a little while longer before I head home, because I have to wait another 25 minutes, so I'm like, what do I do with my life? So this may have happened. So cute. Yeah, because kittens are your favorite animal in the world. Uh, My cats do that. I want a puppy. I want a puppy. It's a little dark in here, but I'm home now and I'm going to do a little haul of what I got. So I went and got some pants. I was actually thinking of getting pants today and then I decided against it because these boots I was wearing, and they're lace-up boots and I was like, I don't want to have to change out of these so I'll just do pants another day. But I had to wait so long for my prescription that I ended up just going for the pants anyway. And so I got the brand Material Girl, which I find at uh, eBay, <laughs> the bay. <laughs> and um, yeah, I have a brand, I have one pair in this brand and I really, really like it. They're these like metallic -y ones. I was wearing them today actually, except they're not metallic anymore, but they do have a cool, they still have a cool look to them. Yeah, you can't tell in the dark, but I love those pants. And so I got some of the same brand. So this pair, oh, these were all 40% off, which was awesome. So this pair is like a really cool texture. It's just, it's like a metallic black, I guess you'd say. And it's got some zippers on the front. It's pretty cool. So this was regular 50 and then it was 40% off. That's what I also like about these. They're super comfy and they're good prices. I already have a pair of burgundy pants. They do need to be sewn because there's a hole in them. But I've got another pair of burgundy anyway. Just I actually wanted to get two pairs of black. Not that black, but the next one I'm going to show you. But they actually only had one in stock in my size. So I went with the burgundy instead. It's just nice. It almost has a reflective surface to it, but not quite. Just a nice pair of burgundy pants. And then the exact same kind in black. This is the one I wanted two of, but they only had one. So, yay, I have three more pairs of pants. Yes. I'm just so just running low on pants. And I have a few pairs still that need to be sewn that I haven't sewn yet. Because remember, before I went on what was it, to the family reunion. I had sewn some of my pants, but I didn't have time to sew them all. And so I just bought some new ones now. And then I went to the Disney store. Well, I went to the Disney store first. And I had to get this cup. They got a lot of their Frozen stuff back in stock. There were tons of Frozen dolls, so it was crazy. Okay, I need, no, wait, maybe I don't need two hands. I can do this. I can do this one-handed. It's a mug, and it is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's Anna and Olaf. There wasn't a cup with Elsa on it. This was the only one other than the two that I already own, the taller mugs. This is so cute and it's got snowflakes inside. I can't get over that artwork. It's something new too because Stupid Frozen, they use the exact same promotional images on everything and I get so sick of it. I want something new and this is new. This is new artwork, so, oh, yes, so gorgeous. 
okay, I better call my sister before she kills me. Uh, she wanted, because we're booking flights to AGDQ, and I was like, oh, just wait, I'm on my way home. But then I came and just kind of face planted on my bed and forgot about her. And then I filmed this haul, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go call her before she freaks out. But yes, it's confirmed that I'm going to AGDQ. I've talked about it in the past, but it was never 100% certain. But I requested three weeks off at Christmas and actually got it off. So. I booked one of my return flights already, the return flight from Washington, because Brooklyn and I will be coming back separately because I'm going to Vancouver, she's going to Alberta, so it's like, we're not going to the same destination. So I already booked the return flight because there was one flight that was cheap. The rest were so much more expensive and I didn't want the seats to go. So I was like, I gotta get this now. So yeah, I got the return flight. Now we gotta book our flight there because I'll be flying to Calgary and then going to Medicine Hat. I'll also be in Saskatchewan at one point, but pretty much I'll be with my sister when we leave to AGDQ, so we're gonna fly out together and make our arrangements together. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'll be in Washington, D.C. for a whole week. That's a long time to spend there, but I wanna do lots of sightseeing, and then of course there's AGDQ, which is awesome games done quick. It's pretty much a charity fundraiser, and speedrunners on Twitch all assemble there and stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. But I shouldn't talk too much about it because I gotta go call Brooklyn and figure out our flights. So, so many flights. It's gonna be so expensive this Christmas. <sighs> all right, so update. That took us a long time to like do all the flight planning and it made us redo it. And it was, I don't know, it took a while to get through all the flight stuff. It's 10.30 and I'm like, oh my God, I did not realize it was that late. Although it makes sense though, because I got home a lot later than I normally would. But still, I don't know, I'm just like, where's the night going? Because I want to do a lot on the secret project this weekend. So yeah, anyway, so we booked our flights for AGDQ. Although I haven't booked my flights home for Christmas yet. I only booked like from, Al well actually, okay, what we're gonna do, cause we're gonna be in Medicine Hat, Alberta. And so what we're gonna do is drive down to Great Falls, Montana and fly from there. Cause it's just cheaper. It's quite a bit cheaper for us to fly from the United States. So that's what a lot of people actually do who live in Alberta or, or just anywhere in Canada. They drive down to the States and then they fly out. So we're doing that. So there's a layover both ways. So I think it's, uh, what is it? I'm gonna be going from Great Falls to Denver, then Denver to Washington, D.C. We're staying from the 4th to the 11th, and then I'll be, on the way back, I'll be separate from Brooklyn, although our flights do leave at the same time. Um, I'll be going from Washington to San Francisco, then San Francisco to Vancouver. So I've got those flights booked, but how I get to Alberta, I haven't booked that yet, but me and Christian will book those together so that we can get seats. Or no, no, we won't be selecting seats. We'll just book it so we can make sure we get on the same flight. We'll make sure we do it at the same time. Right, Christian? Yeah. Yeah. So that's just another flight I have to book. So um, actually what ended up happening is that I found a deal, like a round trip deal for uh, Great Falls to Washington to Vancouver for $600. And, but I already booked the return flight and I was like, crap. So what I ended up doing was since it's less than 24 hours since I booked it, I just phoned WestJet and I was like, I need to cancel this. And they're like, yeah, okay. So I canceled my previous flight, no problem. And then I booked the round trip flight to get the better deal. So it's, I don't think that's too bad. It's $612, I think, in some sense. Let's say $613 for the ADDQ flight, including my flight home for Christmas. So that's not too bad at all. Yeah, hopefully the flight from Vancouver to Calgary is not too expensive because usually it is and Christmas time it's gonna be ridiculous so yikes but man Washington's so far away like Washington DC it's so far it's like going from west coast to east coast and down it's like a diagonal there are places that are farther like if we if I was going to Florida that'd be even farther but still Washington's pretty far away I'm so excited now I like what makes me excited about AGDQ is not AGDQ itself, but just going on a trip with my sister, like she's my best friend and I just, you know, we're gonna go on a trip together and do sightseeing and just have a good time, like explore this new area that we've never been to before and just, you know, fun adventure time. So, oh, it's gonna be great. 
And on the SDA forums, anyone who knows about speedrunning probably knows what that is. Um, there is a thread up now regarding hotel rooms because people share hotel rooms to cut down on costs because the, the convention's a week long. You can't really afford a hotel room for a whole week. So uh, there's usually three to four people per room and there's a forum set up for that. So you can be like, I'm looking for two more people who are staying from the state to the state. So that's kind of what we're doing. We made a post. Uh, we're looking for two females. So if you are going to AGDQ or you know anyone who's going to AGDQ, we're staying from the 4th to the 11th, and we're looking for two females to join us. So hopefully we get some responses on that. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Christian's making crap dinner, super late supper, and we're going to watch Cora, and then I'm going to get cracking on my work. I just got to get a clearer view of this in the better light. Oh, oh it's so beautiful. Okay, well, I'm gonna call it a night. It's only 11.30. I was kind of thinking I would stay up later than this and work on the project more, but I'm actually super tired. And um, the earlier I go to bed, the earlier I can get a start on it tomorrow. So this weekend's gonna be crunch time for me because, uh, yeah, the last few days before the deadline are gonna be during the week and I can't get a whole lot done each night. So. I'm going to go so hard this weekend and just, like, destroy this thing. That is my plan. DESTROY! So, oh my gosh, it's so disgusting right now. I apologize if you can see all kinds of weird stuff in the background. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to bed now, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I opened up this letter. It's from, well, it was she was my best friend growing up, Danelle, and, uh, She's getting married this coming summer, and uh, she just sent a save the date, and it's this magnet, and I just, like, I just, like, look at the picture of them, and I got super teary, like, instantly. 